What's a great way for a guy to like approach you or the best way for a guy to approach a girl? Wow, okay. Hey guys, I just got to my hotel. It's pretty nice. Just landed early flight, so I'm pretty tired. I think I'm gonna rest for a little bit, but here's my hotel room. Just trying to unpack. I was able to do an early check-in, so my view isn't that great. Last time I stayed here, I stayed on like the 60th floor, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But they have really amazing views. I'm in downtown LA, but it's still pretty high. I just ordered room service, so hopefully the food is good. Me waiting for my room service. <laughs> I'm actually very tired, so I think I'm gonna take a nap for a little bit. All right, I just got ready. Amanda's about to pick me up, and then we're gonna go hiking. I love it how this is what you wear in LA when you hike. I put on makeup. I literally look like I'm about to like do a photo shoot, but we're gonna go to lunch too. So yeah, I have on this sports bra from Guess, and then these are just some of my favorite little shorts, and they're actually from they're, they're Ripper Magoo shorts, but I just like the way they fit. I have a couple pairs of these. I like these. And then I have sneakers I'm about to put on. I ordered some room service um, when I got here. Just a little snack, but the chicken was kind of gross, and I just had french fries. Might finish that in a bit, but we're about to get lunch and I think hike. But I needed a little pick-me-up. Rate my, my outfit. What do you rate my outfit? Let me know. And I just need a bunch of french fries, but... We're gonna work it off. And then Courtney is going to see me later tonight too. You can come over and we might have a sleepover. So yeah, Amanda should be here any minute. Hi guys. Hello. So Amanda picked me up and we are at Runyon now. I think it started to rain. I know, it definitely is gonna rain. It's definitely gonna rain. We're already out of breath and it's been we just like at the entrance. <laughs> we're just literally at the entrance. So <laughs> but we look like we're in really good shape. I know. Okay, so let me let me see your outfit. This is my outfit from Aloe. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. I really like it. Super cute. And then your <laughs> shoes. Some Nikes. I like them. We're both wearing white Nikes. Here, let me show you. Oh, thank you. Oh wow. What are thank they you. doing over there? I have on just a, a pink or what a color is this? Like neon, like a coral color. Okay, it's coral. Yeah. A coral sports bra cute. from Guess. And they have matching <gasps> pants. That's cute. And then these are just literally random shorts that I just like the cut of them. Cute. It's nothing special. And your shoes. And then these shoes, but okay. They match your coral. I tried to clean these, but now they're just brown <laughs> there. I need to order another pair. <laughs> Hi, Julia. <laughs> this is the Guess supermodel, Julia. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. Good, how are you? Amanda, nice okay, to meet you. Too. Both of you in Miami. I just got, I arrived a few hours ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Well, hope to see you around. Yes. Well, let's get dinner soon. Yes, let's do it. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, what's your address? <laughs> <laughs> and your zip code and um, your apartment number. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know how people hold this thing for that long. I know. I have like a tripod stick, but like that adds more weight to your arm. So oh my gosh, really yeah, I'm like gonna help. take turns. We can take turns. I think now. what we should do is at some point we get a piggyback ride from this guy. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I mean, that'll just add to his workout. Or we can ask him to like backwards walk. <laughs> you should have taken, we should have brought the dogs. I know. Well, my dog has. Yeah, it has leg, <laughs> leg problems, never mind. Both of our dogs are kind of injured at the moment. <laughs> and I used to go here almost every day when I lived. Every day? Like Katie and I oh, would go here all the time, yeah. But yeah, oh, it's actually really pretty today. I like also how you run into a lot of your friends when you go on Runyon. Yeah, I always see some of them. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm really crawling by the ground, <laughs> yeah. Amanda just put up an Instagram story yes. asking oh them to ask questions. Italian restaurant, right? And yeah. Amanda was talking it. about, yeah, she how she wants to start a food YouTube channel. channel. Yeah. I love food and <laughs> I love to eat. And I know so many good little hole in the wall places all around like LA, Miami, New York. So I think it'd be so cool to share that with my followers and kind of 
let them feel like they're with me. And yeah, and I love the good you. food. And yeah, because like, going out, that, yeah. that's why I never date people that have strict food restrictions yeah. because I'm like, going out is such a way of life, like going out yeah, to eat. Yeah, trying new foods. Yeah. Like, like new places. I like to eat out to like anyone that's like, oh, I'm meal prep. I'm like, <laughs> get away, swerve, bro. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. <laughs> or even girls, like I can't have a best friend that's like on a diet because I, I like to go out to eat too so much. <laughs> like no. I cheat a lot. Like I'm supposed to be like, I try not to eat dairy or gluten. Okay, yeah. I always cheat. Yeah. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, but it's so no, worth you it. Look, you look great. Life's too short <laughs> not to. Exactly. Yeah, so that'll, that'll be super fun. I'm looking yes. forward to that. I know, that's coming soon. And when Very you soon. go to Rome for it, I'll, I'll come Ooh, with. Yes. <laughs> you have to come. Oh, I guess I'll go to that one. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> okay. I am 26. I'm 22. She's a youngin'. <laughs> you're I so you were like my age. You're so wise for your, your age. Thank you. I'm yeah. extremely immature for my <laughs> no, age, not. so so no, we not. so we like fit together <laughs> nice. <laughs> so funny. No, I'm just very like, I feel like childlike. <laughs> yeah, you just like to have fun. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I have like a serious are, side, but I I only now. show it at certain times. Yeah, like I show like each side. Yeah, yeah. It's good to have a fun side and not be serious all the time. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, oh. <laughs> Guys, we have hiked a hundred miles. Let's just say mile that. 100. Your, your title should be 100. <laughs> 100 miles, miles with Amanda yes. and Bree. Um, how long have you known each other? Well, we followed each other on Instagram for a long time, yes. but we didn't become like in real life friends until a couple months ago or a few months yeah, ago. Yeah, recently when I did your podcast. yeah. <laughs> so. It took the podcast, and then I was like, oh, she's amazing. <laughs> We like Latin men. <laughs> um, do you? Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't discriminate. I don't, really I don't really have a type either. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so one time I was talking to this guy on Instagram and he he was like, Oh, what's your type? And I was I said, Oh, I don't have a type. He's like, That's the most unattractive thing a woman can say. You don't know Why? what you want. I'm like, oh, I God. know what I want in life. <laughs> I just don't I just like a lot of men, like Yeah, you don't have a preference. <laughs> I just life. don't really have a preference. Yeah. I do like tall guys though, for sure. So, but I don't really care what nationality you are. Help me! Help! <laughs> Would you date a short guy? Um, I have. One I have two. Ex-boyfriends was like my height. Okay. And I'm like five six, <laughs> so he was like five seven maybe. Okay. Um, I actually there's one guy who's shorter. Uh, I would. I think I would marry. You He's would? one of my good friends. Oh. You know who you are if you're watching this, and you're the only like short guy I like. Oh my god, that's <laughs> sweet. <laughs> but typically I like big guys. Big tall. Because I always think I'm gonna get murdered, so, <laughs> so you need someone to I need somebody protect to protect you. Yeah. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, wait, you should do this challenge sometime. What? I've seen this on TikTok, so you go to like a real gym yeah, where there's yeah. people at. Take your phone. So like okay. Oh, I I might know what you're about to say. You put, put it in your back pocket. Oh, with the camera on. We should we should have done that here. Let's do it here. We should. Oh we'll do God. it at some point. Well, after the questions, we can do after that. The questions, yeah. Okay. And then we can insert the footage. It's so weird because some people get blocked or like their account deleted, and then I'll see girls in like the tiniest I, bikinis. I no, it doesn't make sense. I wrote like it, it was something on my last YouTube video. I was talking about. Like, I would like to experience having a penis for the day. Yeah, right. That's not technically sexual. That's just talking about a body part. I would love, I'm sure guys would love <laughs> how it's like to be a woman. Yeah, I would like to try it out someday. <laughs> okay, so if you were a guy for a day, what would you do? What's the first thing you would do if you woke up and you hmm. a guy? <laughs> I don't want to say this. <laughs> It's something Will we get banned on YouTube? <laughs> no. I mean, I'm sure you can use your imagination. Yeah. No, it's like, you'd put it in stuff. Like, I said, what am I going to say this in every in every YouTube yeah. video? But I think that, and then, um, just, I think I would, I would lift a bunch of stuff. Yeah, right? He's so much, like, like stronger. stronger. <laughs> and and I would want to see, like, if I get, like, more angry at things. Um, I don't know. 
I would also like to like walk down like a bad area and not be scared. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> like walk around somewhere. Yeah. Um, a lot of them are just like we're so sexy. <laughs> that's not really the questions. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you. If you weren't a model, what would you what would you do instead? A vet. Or a vet tech. Oh yeah, I think she told me that before. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Horses too. That's like cool. Um, have you ever been yeah. to the place in Malibu where you can that farm? <laughs> I'm like that one farm in Malibu. <laughs> have you ever been to that farm? No, wait. And do what? I don't Red know. Horses? They have like a bunch of horses and giraffes and. Wait, zebras. Wait, wait, I've always wanted to go there. Thing you would like this. I'm having this guy named Christopher. He's a one of the Gator Boys. He's gonna be on our podcast, Ooh. and he works with alligators for a living. And oh we're trying God. to do like an alligator photo shoot, <gasps> but for the podcast, he's bringing a couple of snakes. Oh, he's bringing them. Okay, yeah, I'm really, I'm really scared of snakes, so it's Me gonna too. be interesting. Are you gonna hold it? Uh, I'm hold going it? to. Yeah. Oh no. I guess the snake is. Um, like it went super viral because it was born with Why? a bunch of ticks all over it or something. I don't know. Yeah. That's what that's what they said on the phone. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But that's so cool. Is he based in Florida? Yeah, he actually lives around Fort Lauderdale, but he works in Homestead. Oh, okay. Yeah, so not too not too far. Homestead is where all like the farms. Are. Yeah, so he does all these alligator tours. Oh, that's so. I'll show cool. you, but he does super crazy stuff. Have you heard of that one guy on on Instagram? His name is Jay. The reptile guy. Oh, yes. Um, he's like an older guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jay Prehistoric something. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Would you ever do yeah. a video with him? For sure. Definitely. I've, I've talked to him on Instagram. Like, oh, really? This was a couple years ago. We were supposed to do something. I think COVID happened, and then we just oh. didn't. But he he kind of scares me. He's still, like, he too, too fearless. He's very risky. <laughs> like, very. too risky. Yeah. Like, he gets very close to these things. Yeah, scary. Animals. Yeah, it's like kind of, kind of freaky. <laughs> this this Chris guy does alligator tours in the water. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't know about that. I know, I know. I know. I'd be like, ah. Okay, so, what's your biggest turn off? I can Ooh. Really Someone who like shows off a lot. Okay. Um, kind of what we were just talking about earlier, like, oh, I've been with this girl. Or, or I've like made this much money. Oh my gosh, I hate it when guys, yeah, like, ugh. That's my biggest turn off. Yeah, no, I, for sure. What about yours? That. Yeah. I, I like people that are more humble. I love it though, we like kind of, we don't show, we're both, I feel like humble, but like we like show ourselves and stuff, but we're humble. I don't like guys like that. Remember, I met a guy in Miami, this was, this was like six months ago, I still remember it. <laughs> he was really cute and nice but then he got so showy oh. and i didn't end up going out, out to dinner with him because i'm like yeah, i can't be with somebody like that yeah it's like imagine you're like oh yeah we like just made this much um this month like <laughs> yeah we can easily say that us, like, i know like oh sorry yeah i made like blah blah, blah this yeah. <laughs> we can take a break for a second Thank God. Sorry. <laughs> oh so what are, are the tiktoks we're gonna make Ooh, i can't have a list <laughs> The list is like the sounds that I saved. Um, can we do it like anywhere? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. We can just prop it up on a slower that's good light. And there's one. I gets crazy. I gets. Have you seen that one? <laughs> I'll play all the sounds for you. No, no, like. It's, we'll like think of a situation, so we'll put like a caption. Okay. And be like, I gets crazy. Oh, have you seen the one? Am I better than everyone? Oh, okay. I've seen that one. We can no, like, I, I don't think I've seen it, but let's do it. Um. And there's one with uh, Demi Lovato in her voice, and she's like, and I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we are filming TikToks, and we just saw like the hottest 50 oh, yeah. year old. Yeah. Like, I don't know, he was probably like 50, right? Yeah. He was super delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and I got so awkward. We both <laughs> were like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we wanted to ask him to be in our TikTok, but we got a little, we got a little nervous. Wish us luck in our TikTok <laughs> career. So that's good. Oh, that's the bench you're talking about. I'm like, where is yeah. this bench? We're, we want to do like a full. We want a, we want a full body, but it's just hard. Best when golf you course in Miami area. This is from my friend Jolene. <laughs> okay, um, Trump Durrell is really nice in Miami. There you go. There you have it, Trump Durrell. Makes you both the most happy. 
common, but honestly just my family and making others happy. Usually for me, it's when I'm not on my phone, but right now we're, we're actually like working on something yeah. and we're having fun with each other. So yeah. it's not like we're texting or exactly. looking at how many likes we're getting on a picture. Yeah, we're that's the worst making when you're videos. with someone and like you just are both on your phone the entire yeah, time. Yeah, it's, it's so like, sad. But yeah. for me, it's when I'm present, I'm the happiest. And it's hard to be present these days. There's yeah. so many distractions. Yeah. A lot of these questions are kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should we go to this bench? Yes. This is our bench, guys. We found, we found home. <laughs> These are all of what the questions are. What's your daily motivation? Daily motivation would be like at nighttime. So to help me wake up better, I journal at night and I write down everything I'm grateful for and I have like a prayer journal. <laughs> it's, no, it's that, that like helps motivate me and puts everything in perspective so if I'm feeling bad that day then it helps me feel better you know yeah. I actually have something similar I got it from Urban it's called the five minute journal oh, so cool. in the morning you write down like your goals for the day what will make today better what are you grateful for and then like positive affirmations you write okay. it and then at the end you like reflect like did I was I able to do this what made today good oh that's that. awesome yeah, yeah I think it's, it's important to do stuff like that yeah I think. for sure my sister bought a new dog and it was just born. I don't know if you saw it on my oh, Instagram story. story. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a rat right now, but <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a little Pomeranian. Oh, what, what color is it? So it's brown. Oh, it's like a light brown and it's really, really cute. It's the same breeder um, that my uncle got his dog from. So oh. it allows you to be like the sibling of oh, that dog God. and it's beautiful. That's cute. It's really cute. Its name is Billy. Billy. We'll is that Billy? What name yeah, we have oh. Billy in eight weeks. Billy. We'll have Billy in eight Sweet. weeks, but I'm excited. That's cute. Yeah. I like the all brown ones. Yeah, they're cute. So we Feels finished <laughs> making we all of our it. all of our TikToks. We made it. We're about to get some <laughs> food in a little bit, but we have a message to men out there. Just don't be creepy. Please. Like we had one Especially guy. Especially like on a hike when we're trying yeah. to enjoy our girl time. Yeah, like and also like when you're kind of alone and there's not that many people, you don't just kind of like walk towards someone like this. Can I record you? Because that's exactly how he was. the guy did. Come so, towards me. Pretend. So Amanda's standing there. Yeah, we're walking. Like yeah. <laughs> Free, that's so scary. <laughs> It's really it's terrifying. It's really scary stuff, guys. You actually you, you can't do well. it, and you, you're not gonna get a lady doing that either. I don't know. And like we're staring. Yeah, he was staring and doing that. It's so <laughs> rude. To really intense. Really intense. Oh my God. Okay, so I think the best way to get a girl, I'm just I'm just putting this out there. Yeah. Ignore them. Be mean to them. Or does that work for you? That works for me. Um, to an extent, and then when they're like when they keep doing it, I'm like, oh, oh, then I'm, I'm like, over like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but like you also have to be like doting at the same time. Yes, exactly. But you have to at There's first kind of be a little bit like that at first until yeah. she's interested, and yeah. then, yeah. But once you have her, you know, be yeah. There, I love like affection and like. Yeah, me too. I love all that. Like, like I have, attention. I have to have attention. If not, I'll move on. I'll be like there'll exactly. be like a, a bunch of other people to replace no, no. him yeah, with. Yeah, I love when like a guy is like not always texting me, but just like. You gotta check up throughout or, yeah. the day. Show, yeah, of course, because. I mean, interested. I mean, if not, I'm just gonna text my mom, you know? <laughs> my mom, my mom will text me back, you know? <laughs> Our moms are extremely similar. We we found out um, we both have very protective mothers. And also, I'm extremely overprotective sister, and you are going to be an extremely overprotective mother, you said one day. Yeah, and she's not pregnant, guys. Oh, no. Yeah, we both are pregnant, and we both are gonna be really overprotective. That'll be clickbait for the video. <laughs> guys, we're pregnant. No, no, we're um, not. We're not pregnant. Yeah, it's just so funny. Like growing up with a really like uh, protect, overprotective, like strict mom. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I'll never be like that. And but then as you get older, like you kind of realize and see the real world and how totally kind of scary it is. And I'm for sure gonna be exactly like her. Totally. Sorry to my future kids. No. Oh my gosh, you have to be. You have to be. Like <laughs> we're gonna go and eat on Amanda's channel. Yes. What's your channel? My channel is just my first. T-R-I-V-I-C-A-S Amanda Trevizas. I'll link it when I post yeah, this. Too. Go check out It'll part in the two. description. Yeah, go check out part two of that video. What's a great way for a guy to like approach you? Or the best way for a guy to approach a girl? Wow, okay. 
I personally I don't like DMs. Um, but sometimes it's just like how it is. I mean, sometimes like, what if they that's live in? What, is, what exactly. if they live in like Egypt? So how like, are under they those circumstances, then that's fine. But like, I love like a good old fashioned. Like if I'm out somewhere, and they like give at you, like, the grocery store, yeah, or they give you a compliment. They're like, oh my god, like I love your shoes. Like those are really yeah. sick shoes. And yeah. then they just walk away. I'm like, <laughs> and they don't like keep prying and like, well, like I love your shoes. Can yeah. we get dinner? It's like, yeah. what? I love like. Just a subtle compliment, just walk away. And like, yeah. that'll make me want to chase your me walking No, I, walking I agree with that. I sound like such a stalker. I can't <laughs> believe I'm saying this, but I was in the elevator at my apartment building and this guy, when I was going to golf, this guy's like, oh, are you going to go play tennis today? And I'm like, oh, no, I'm actually golfing. He's like, oh, and he was kind of giving me the eye a little bit. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy's so hot. Like, I've <laughs> never seen him before type of thing. Who is this guy? This is in your building. Yeah, this right? is in my building. So I, I go and golf and I was kind of thinking about him. I was like, oh, he's really, really attractive. And he just looked, kind of looked like a little bit of a bad boy, but like not like over the top. So when I got back, I was in the lobby. And waiting he's like, you? no, <laughs> no, he was not waiting for me, I wish. And he's like, oh, how did you play today? And I played horribly that day. I'm like, oh, I played really bad. And I, I like really wanted to stop and be like, oh, what's your name? But I didn't. And I yeah. just kind of like, he was talking to my friend. And I, I walked, I just got in the elevator and like walked away. And then I text my friend who's actually, he was the valet at the apartment. I messaged him on Instagram and I was like, who is the guy you're talking to? What's his name? What's his story? <laughs> No. And my my guy says, "Oh, Bree, the, the bald guy. Okay, he yeah, he was bald, was he bald? but he was hot. Like yeah. he had shaved his head. He was hot. Gotcha. And he's like, oh, he he either has a girlfriend or a wife that lives with him. And I'm like, fuck, <sighs> whatever. But yeah, he was really hot. I'm like, okay, no, goodbye. The really, really, really hot guys are always either like, gay or gay, yeah, or yeah. have a wife or yeah. a girlfriend. But That's um." Okay. Mr. Apartment Man, if you ever are single, give me a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. <laughs> ring ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. We're we almost at the car. We're almost to the car, and we are going to go eat some good food. So go ahead and check out Amanda's channel, and we are going to have fun eating a lot of good food. Yes. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for joining.